Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. It's been a little while since we've posted anything here on the channel, but today we're back with a fun new build challenge. We're building a regular house, but every room is one tile bigger. So just to explain a little bit, that means we're gonna start off with a one by one, then we're gonna get a two tile room, then a room that has three tiles, so something that looks a little bit like this and so on and so forth. We'll keep adding one tile for every room. And they don't have to be joining, like the one by one doesn't have to be next to the, the two tile room. That could be anywhere, but just we're gonna be counting up basically. <laughs> so I was originally gonna do this as like a live build where we sort of check in every so often and keep building, but then I quickly realized this is actually taking me a lot longer than I thought. So we're just starting out here, getting all the rooms in. Every room has one extra tile. And a problem I very quickly realized is if I wanna have any double beds, I'm gonna have to build just a lot of rooms to get a room that's even big enough to fit one. So we are sort of working through that at the moment. In my head, I'm also kind of trying to plan out exactly what's gonna go where, but at the same time, you can't really plan it out. I mean, look at the front of the house. We have a one tile room, a two and a three. Like there's not a lot that can go in those places. Uh, the funny thing is though, cause you end up with all these tiny little pokey rooms right at the start. And then I've sort of put all the bigger rooms on the outside. I mean, you could do this however you wanted, but in this case, that's how I went about it. Uh, and I think it actually worked out pretty well. And it's kind of funny. Uh, it's it's kind of, I had a lot of fun building this. I'm not gonna lie, cause it, you, you end up with this really bizarre house with rooms that are quite frankly, just ridiculous shapes because I have to have one extra tile here or there. Now I did start out building this house looking relatively new and quite nice, but I later realized it, it makes more sense for it to be a little bit run down, quite old because all the rooms are small and maybe at some point they'd like renovated and just added more rooms and it's all just really pokey and bizarre. And some of the rooms you have to like walk around the entire house just to get to, which I mean, yeah, I could have put more doors in, but it's also kind of funny that it is like that. So I had a bit of fun with it. And, um, and outside space doesn't count or anything in this. So I added like a little porch at the back, but there's not really anything there anyway, but it was mostly just for looks because the roof looked kind of weird the way it is. So that's why I just added this on the back just to add a little bit of pizzazz to the outside, even though it is a little bit old and run down and, and not looking great anyway. I mean, it starts off looking, the thing is it starts off looking like a very generic house on the outside, but I wanted the exterior to reflect what we were gonna unveil on the inside. So anyway, I started off, I thought the one by one room or the one tile room would be perfect just as an entrance. Like it, it literally has nothing in it. Um, it's just a door and then an archway. And there's, I haven't created any sort of rules that there has to be stuff in every room. Um, but that's, I just thought that'd, that'd work well as just a little entrance way. And then it goes into another hallway, which is the two tile room, which I thought also worked quite well. And I did, I did actually end up putting a mirror in that two tile room just so it had a little bit more of a use. But um, I also didn't realize when I built this that the door is like so far to the left at the front of the house, which I thought was actually kind of funny once I did it because it just kind of looks a bit ridiculous. And I did actually end up using platforms here because I wanted to have uh, like a big step up at the front of the house, but I didn't want the whole house to be on foundation. Like I just wanted the entryway to be on a platform. So you sort of walk up to it. It's like this big slab almost by the front door. I don't know, I just thought like a, a, a nice big brick slab there kind of suited the aesthetic of this house, you know, at the entrance. And it also meant on the inside, the one by one and the two tile room have different levels and you sort of step down into the house, which I thought was kind of cool. And also it means that uh, I do a bathroom at the front of the house and a laundry. So those are actually also raised up on platforms, which I guess adds a little bit of intrigue to it. But anyway, I thought, it, I thought it looked quite good. You know, for what it is, I thought it looked quite good. And I actually started off when I eventually get to the interior here. The first few rooms are actually quite nice. I think they're actually quite nice. And my idea behind them was maybe they had like renovated the front rooms of the house. So the front of the house looks really nice. Maybe they're trying to like do it up to sell or something. So that's the idea behind that. The first few rooms are quite nice. And then as you get a little bit deeper into the house, things start getting a little bit more run down. Um, so we have these like whitewashed floorboards. So they look like they've been painted. We have these sort of fun, colorful tiles here as well. So we're gonna have uh, that four tile room there uh, is gonna be a bathroom, which I thought would be perfect as just like a general bathroom for the house. And then that weird three tile L-shaped room is gonna be our little laundry, which I thought also worked quite well. Like surprisingly, not too difficult at this point in time. I think the difficulty comes a little bit later on when you realize you have about 10,000 rooms in this house. 
that, that need to have stuff in them. And a lot of them are just in weird places. Like there's just, there's a few rooms that are just in the center of the house. So they have no windows naturally. Uh, as you can see, look at all those rooms just in the middle. I was like, what? <laughs> what is this going to be? They just end up being bizarre, quirky rooms. And I sort of just ran with them, just had a bit of fun. Yeah, so you can see here at the entrance, uh, that one tile room is like two steps high. Then you sort of step down to the lower one and then you step down again here. And then we're back at the regular wall height. So this is just like a little, this is basically a hallway uh, that's also an office. So we've got like a little office desk in the corner, some bookcases behind it. I thought that could be a nice zoom background, you know, if you're doing your, your video calls and your meetings, you have your nice Calax Ikea bookshelf behind you. I thought that looked quite nice. Um, and then of course we need to have like a living room, which I thought this room on the end here, that sort of long boy room would be a nice cozy living room. At least it's on the side and it has windows. So you're not like cramped in. Um, now, I was originally doing these sort of these white floorboards everywhere. I do change my mind on that shortly because that's when I decide that this should be a little bit more run down than it probably is. Um, yeah, and you can see the outside right now. It, it looks very, I guess, quite new and quite, quite modern, you know, like not modern, but you know, contemporary in style. Like it just looks like a, a regular sort of house you'd see. But um, I later on move it to Del Sol Valley and then just put cracks and darken it down and all that. Cause I felt like it, it sort of fit really well in that neighborhood in the middle of Del Sol Valley. Which I just find weird cause that neighborhood's supposed to be a little bit run down, but the lots of land that you have there, like 40 by 30. So I, I don't know, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I guess it is what it is. So at this point uh, we are doing the first bedroom and this is kind of when I decided that I wanted this place to become more run down. And, and especially when you get further into the house, I want the further you get in, the more sort of run down and pokey and cluttered. I really wanted to feel cluttered because the rooms are so small. So that's why I, want, I wanted to put this big bed in this room. It takes up pretty much the entire room. Then you have these really old, almost mustard colored curtains, uh, which I really don't like, but I, I thought fits it so well. So I was having fun with that. And uh, I think that that aesthetic suits this build a lot more. But if you guys end up doing this uh, one, every room is one tile bigger challenge. You can obviously you can go as big as you wanted. I stopped at 15, uh, a room with 15 tiles because I figured that was a good size. But if you wanted to keep going bigger, of course you could. But I would really be interested to see what different aesthetics and approaches you guys take because to me, this spoke to a really, cramped and cluttered home. Uh, and that's what I did. But of course you could do something completely different. It doesn't even have to be a house. You could also, and, and this, I could have done this, but I didn't want to. You could also just use like archways to open up a room to make it look bigger like and to share the rooms. No rule against that. Literally the only rule is just doing the rooms, you know, one tile, two tiles, three tiles, and then seeing what you come up with. So I'm I'm really, really interested if you guys follow this up to, to I, I, I can't wait to see what you guys build. And this being the living room, I don't know, I thought it was really funny just cause it's so like, it's just really long. <laughs> and I thought it was funny to also put a fireplace in it because it, that takes up like half the room in itself. Also, I would probably recommend not lighting this fireplace because I put a lot of stuff really close to it and right in front of it too. You'll get this couch here and an armchair. And I actually really love the way that the couch and the armchair are like overlapping each other because I, I have been in that position before where you just don't have enough room for your stuff. So you sort of just shove it to where it fits. And I think that, <laughs> I don't know, I really like it. I think that just almost has like a little bit of realism to it that not everything is gonna perfectly fit in your house, specifically not this house. And I really, I don't know, I just really enjoy that little detail of them sort of overlapping each other. And then we do this rug and the coffee table right in front of the fireplace. I actually do um, briefly play test this at the end and I actually had to move that coffee table even closer toward the fireplace. So another reason to probably just not light that. Uh, <laughs> but I, I think it worked out quite well. So we have a lot of interior rooms now. Um, so that we have a little hallway in between the living room and the, and the entrance. And that actually is basically just a hallway. You can see I actually put a wardrobe into that room. I didn't put a wall in front of it because it is technically like a built-in wardrobe that you can wall off. But I didn't put a wall there because then that technically would not be a, uh, what is that, a five tile room? Which I guess in that sense, you could do a two tile room and a three tile room next to each other, put a wardrobe in one and use it that way. So you could actually use your two tile room for a built-in wardrobe. That's a 
little little tip. Now this kitchen, oh, I, 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 yes, I could have put the kitchen on the outside of the house or like on one of the exterior like rooms to have lots of windows, but I was really excited by the idea of having this really tiny pokey kitchen in the center of a house because I've seen so many of those and I've had one of those myself as well where it's just inside, it's all like walled off and it's just everything, in one way, it's convenient. Everything's really close, but as soon as you have like two people in there, it just, there's not enough space. There's not enough space, but I had so much fun building this and just shoving everything in. I tried to place items like this with move objects so they're not actually on the counters. So your sim should still be able to use the counters, no problem. Um, and surprisingly, I did even put a bin in this kitchen. So there's that. We've got a microwave, we've got the stove, we've got a dishwasher, a fridge. It's literally got everything you need. I guess it doesn't have a coffee maker. Um, I mean, you can make everything in this kitchen. So I think that's all that matters. Uh, <laughs> and I I don't know, I really like those green tiles and just everything. And the, the yellow floor tiles there as well. It's just, it's just, oh, it's so pokey. It's so small. It's so cluttered. <laughs> Got a fruit bowl there in the corner as well. The bin is just there, as you can see in front of the counter. And then we have a nice dining room just outside of that. And the dining room has a window. And I think that's a luxury in this place. Uh, I was also trying to figure out a nice way to light the kitchen because I didn't, I, I've been using a lot of like the, the super subtle saucer lights in, in most of the rooms, but I thought the kitchen could use something a little bit different, just a regular sort of downlight um, that isn't, well, not a downlight, a regular sort of hanging light. That was a bit different. Um, I really love this table that was added in actually. Uh, I can't remember which update it was. It might've been the Hispanic Heritage Month update, I believe. I think it's a really beautiful piece. So I put it in there. It also has that sort of same pattern and, and colorfulness that we have throughout the house. So, well, not the same pattern, obviously it's completely different, but we've got a lot of patterns and a lot of colors going on all over the place. And I think it, it's really funny because <laughs> I either build, honestly, I think my modes in, in building houses seem to either be just over the top colorful and clashing patterns everywhere, or like just black and white, sleek, contemporary. And though I feel like those are my two modes. I don't know that I ha really have it in between, but I mean, I love this. I love everything about this house. It's so much fun. We've got a keyboard in here. I was trying to add like a lot of little things around the house to do. So it's not just, you know, bedrooms, kitchen, living room. It has stuff to do. Like we got the keyboard in here. We have obviously, well, the computers and stuff, but then I add like a little pet room as well because I was like, what, what do I even do with this space in the middle? But I added like a pet bowl. We'll see that in a minute. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just a lot of fun. It was honestly so much fun. And we have, you know, this is a totally playable, livable house too. We got three bedrooms, two bathrooms with a shower tub combo as well. Also one of my least favorite items in the game. They are very useful, the shower tub combos, don't get me wrong, but I just have never liked how big and chunky they are. Cause it just, I don't know. I just don't like big items in this game because they just block your view while playing. Um, and that includes like big bookcases and stuff. So usually I'll put them out of the way on like walls that you don't need to like look through. Cause it like, if you put it in the middle of a house, I always find that super annoying, but this house is filled with that. Like. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess I say it's a very playable house, but there's really tall items everywhere in the middle. So, but I think that adds, that adds to the nature of the cluttered. Oh, this room is, <laughs> this room is kind of gross, but in the best possible way. It's got like that really dirty carpet, this sort of <laughs> greeny yellow bed and those walls. Oh yeah, so this is actually, I've moved a lot and I repainted the exterior as you can see. It is like completely different now. Uh, so we're in Del Sol Valley now. I repainted the exterior. I didn't record that bit just cause I didn't know how long it was gonna take me. I actually spent a while choosing different colors and tones and and um, I just basically made it look a lot more rundown than it was. <laughs> And that's, uh, and I think it looks awesome. I, I love it so much and uh, it gets even better by the end. Uh, we'll, we'll do a tour at the end just so you can see it, but I'm super excited by this lot. And we got another set of dirt, another set, another room with the dirty carpet in there, bright like royal blue, uh, but, but it's like dirty and stained and I don't know. I think it's just, it's so much fun. It's so much fun to live, not live, to build something like this. I do want to play in this house. Every time I always build these weird houses, but I never get a chance to actually play in it. And actually I'll ask you here, because I feel like if you're watching this far into the video, you're, you're, you're a good fan. You're a good fan of the channel and the content 
that is posted here. So I am obviously still going to be doing a let's play of Snowy Escape, but it will probably be just a general Sims 4 let's play because we're so far behind the release of Snowy Escape now. But we're going to be using three Sims and it's not, I don't know, we can't really do a rags to riches with Snowy Escape uh, gameplay. But I mean, that doesn't mean we have to start with lots of money. So, but we could start somewhere like this or in a starter home. But I want your opinion how we should start off that LP. Should we, we could start in this house, maybe not in Del Sol Valley, we might move it. Or we could just start in a starter home or maybe give them a bit of money. So we have three Sims. The, uh, we got, what are their names again? I, I'm completely blanking. Um, it's been a while. It's Ambrose's children. Am I going to start calling them Ambrose now? It's been so, so long since I played that LP. Uh, I'm just trying to stall until I remember their names. It's something with an I. Isaiah. Isaiah and we have Candle. And there's one more. Um, I have no idea. I've completely forgotten, but we have those three. <laughs> those three Sims. Uh, one of them is a teen, whichever the youngest one is. I've forgotten which one that is. So the two older brothers will be looking after the younger one. And that's kind of the starting point and the catalyst of that. So I don't know. Uh, I would really love to hear your opinion on how we should get that one started. I actually really like this bedroom. It is the, the, like the decoration and the colors and all that are really dirty, but I think it actually is kind of cool. It's kind of funky and I kind of dig it. Like you got that cool bed, you got a guitar, computer in the corner. Um, I just think it's really nicely detailed, this little room. I was trying to find, this is where I was saying before, I was trying to find like um, some nice, uh, like items to use and play with, with gameplay. I actually put in, that's the uh, children's scientific uh, set, science table, what is it called? I don't know. So I thought that'd be fun. I haven't really used that much in the past. And then this little room here at the back, which leads out into the balcony is just like a little chess room and bookcase behind it. I don't know if they can use that bookcase, but, um, oh, I actually also really like the idea of putting a big aquarium in and it just like blocks one of the windows. I don't know, I thought that was great too. That's just. That is just quintessentially what this house is. It's just ridiculous, just big things that don't really fit, but you're putting them in anyway. Um, so I had fun with that. But now I think we're just moving to the exterior sort of stuff. Um, I needed to make it look, you know, a bit more rundown on the outside as well. There wasn't really a better fence to use because uh, I wanted a fence that kind of looked like it wasn't doing so great. But I wish I was like a darker color in that fence, but there really isn't, unless it's like a warm wood tone. Anyway, anyway, we just do like a bit of grass and shrubbery around the house now as well, like overgrown sort of grass here and there, just to make it feel a little bit more uh, like it's not being taken care of that well. We've got some vines on the house as well, a lot of cracks and stuff. I basically go around, put them all over the walls. I just wanted to feel a little bit more grounded, a little bit more real in a sense that this house has just been neglected and just stuff has been piled in and without much like consideration, honestly, except the first few rooms in the house are really nice. So there's that. The first like bathroom and the laundry kind of looks good. And then the rest is a little, little not so good, you know. Um, I thought I'd just lower the back down here so we could have like a deck out the back because I wanted that to sort of have a little bit of separation. But again, I didn't want to put the house on foundation because around the front we're actually using platforms to get the different door height. So uh, I just used the terrain tools instead to create that separation. And then we're just doing a little bit of terrain painting. I do a swing set just because, no real reason. We don't really need to do the garden, but I thought we have such a big plot of land because for some reason Del Sol Valley, even though it's like a tiny world, has the biggest lots. I don't understand, but anyway. Um, and I had a dumpster, <laughs> so I thought that was fitting. I had a little mailbox, but yeah, let's go. We're gonna jump in the game. We'll have a little tour of the lot itself so we can get a good look at it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. All right, so here we are in the finished lot, which you can download from my gallery page. I'll link it in the description down below. Otherwise you can just search for James Turner YT on the gallery, all one word, but this is it. It's sitting here in Del Sol Valley. I think, I don't know. I, I really like the look of this place. It is just ridiculous. And I think the outside actually turned out really, really nice and, and nice in terms of the aesthetic I was going for. And I think, I, I always feel like it looks kind of realistic in a way. I mean, realistic in a Sims way, obviously, but um, anyway, so I'll walk you through each of the rooms in case you didn't quite catch it. Uh, before we jump in, we'll have a look. So this is our one tile room, two tiles, three tiles, four tiles here. The five tiles, we've got six tile room here, seven tiles there. This is our eight tile room. Nine tile room is the kitchen. 10 tiles is this back room with the sort of chest table and all that. 11, I think is yeah, the dining room over here. 12 tiles is that first bedroom that we built. 
13 is looks like it's a second um, bedroom there. 14, I believe, is this living room here because it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then 15 is the final bedroom up the top there. So that is the house. And also we'll have a look. The flow of everything is, is really funny. <laughs> it's just so stupid. You say you walk in here and if you want to go to this bedroom over there, you have to go through this hallway, through the living room, through the dining room, and then you get to that bedroom. But if you want to go from this bedroom to this room, you have to come back through all the way here and around and then you finally get there. It's just, it's just so ridiculous. Anyway, we'll have a little look. So we'll jump down. We can probably view a few of these rooms a little closer. So this is our little entranceway here, which, you know, it, yes, it's a little cramped, but that's kind of the point. Um, but it's not too bad. Uh, and then this is like the little, <laughs> little office room there. It's a plan up there. That's nice, a little desk. But yeah, so here you can see like the platforms that sort of step up and, you know, down from the front door. And uh, in here, we've got our little laundry with that light bulb. Honestly, that light bulb, <laughs> you're gonna smack on the door and in your head, but you know, that's fine. A little laundry there, hamper, nothing too special. Uh, and then this little bathroom. I thought I put a mirror up here. Hmm, I guess I didn't, my bad. A little bathroom, which I think is not too bad. Uh, and then through this way, uh, I guess we'll go this way. It's just a little hallway that has this wardrobe with no wall, which I, is quite funny. Another little bathroom in here, which is just hilariously like, Oh, it's so, <laughs> like, what is going on? And there's our sort of nice shower tub combo there. Nice little shower curtain though, I think, honestly. And then through this way is our living room. I actually quite like our living room. It is a heat wave today, so the sim is, you know, making sure they're prepared. There's no heating or cooling. Actually, there is heating. There's no cooling in this house. But this is our living room with a keyboard right there. Our couch is all sort of shoved together in here. The fireplace right there. The little TV sitting up over there. This giant plant, which I thought was just kind of funny. And then like a little bit more storage here on the side as well. And this actually, you know what? This actually makes the house look kind of big because you can see all the way through. Uh, nice little picture on the wall there. Through to the dining room, which is just a complete other, like a, a different aesthetic to the rest of the house as all the rooms are. I actually think that's quite nice. I, you know, quite nice. I don't mind that. The kitchen, I think maybe one of my favorite rooms. Uh, unironically, I think this looks awesome. I, I actually really, really like this. It's so full. A lot of stuff going on in here. And it's, it's totally functional as well, which is great. Back to the uh, bedroom here. This is one of the larger bedrooms. Nothing too special in here. Just, you know, fitting everything that we need in there. And then, I mean, I guess I could walk through the whole house because we've got to go back this way now um, <laughs> to get around to the other half of the house. So we just uh, da -da -da, walk through here. And here is the first bedroom we built. Man, this room. Is oh, yeah, I, I left one light in this room. Yeah, so there's one light and that's the bed. <laughs> Hey, where did my curtain go? Maybe when I moved the house, different lots, I feel like it kind of messed up. I also haven't fixed that window glitch where these windows still have a gap in them, but whatever. Um, anyway, back through this way. We come into the pet room, which is literally just a bunch of pet stuff. A bowl, a little cat hotel thing, a little scratching post, some toys, uh, you know, all the, all the usual stuff. And then this bedroom in here, which I also think is kind of fun. I quite like this. And then last but not least, the aquarium slash chess room for some reason. Um, and that's pretty much the house. It's so, so stupid, but I really, really like it. I think it's a bit of fun. Let's see what it's like with this. Oh my God. <laughs> Remember I was talking about how uh, when the walls are down on a house, I usually don't like having big items in the middle. This has, <laughs> this is nothing but big items. You can't see anything. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that's so funny. You kind of have to play this house like this to be able to see. <laughs> but that is the build. That is the one tile. No, that's not the name of the challenge. That is the uh, every room is one tile bigger challenge. I would love to see what you guys do with this as well. So make sure if you do this challenge to uh, send me a link on Twitter or a screenshot on Twitter or something like that. That's probably the easiest place to show me. I'm super excited to see what you guys do. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to download this for whatever reason, again, the link is down below. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.